Until a few years ago, the, the life was good. Um, companies had money, budgets were filled, and uh, you could pretty much do anything that you wanted to go and do in campaigns, and you weren't really questioned. So in other words, what the focus was a few years ago that you did what you wanted to do, and it was really cool, and it was really, really creative. And then at the end of the campaign, everybody sat together and said, okay, now we need to just put this report together to tell our bosses that we spent the money properly. So. The whole concept of actually looking at the figures and looking at money was primarily there to go and justify something. Now, budgets are much tighter now, uh, much, much tighter now. So now companies and creatives and everybody is sitting in a really, really big challenge. How do we justify the money that we are going to go and spend? So the questions that are basically being asked now is, is value. And the value not just in an intangible way, but you actually have got to prove it. You've got to prove it not only in rands and cents, you've got to go and prove it in terms of sales, you've got to prove it in terms of impressions, you've got to, there's there's various metrics that have to go and be used now to go and prove that. Now again, you know, proving metrics was easy back then, so it should be pretty easy now as well. The problem, however, is that these days you've got to go and justify your budget before the time. So you've got to go think about it before the time. Now that puts a lot of pressure onto companies. So they now, before they're running campaigns, have to properly think what is it that we want to go and achieve, what is it that we want to go and do, who do we are trying to go and target. Um, all the things that I suppose you know, should have done back then, uh, but nobody was really questioning it. So now you've got to have money, you've got to think before the time, you've got to execute, you've got to go and check while you're doing, if it's working. And you've got to go and provide feedback on that one. So the economic crisis essentially is a very, very good opportunity to get rid of uh, people that were basically sitting on mediocre stuff and were just making money. And it leaves those behind that are doing good work. And it's opportunity for other people to go and come in and do good work if it is justifiable. So every negative side has a positive side. So I believe we are getting better stuff now. I think we're getting better plans and with better plans we're getting better measurements. The two are working hand in hand. So p people always had plans and we knew what we wanted to go and do. But, um, and, and I've been a judge in many, many awards in, in the past couple of years and I always saw the kind of pre-planning phase and it was very wishy-washy. We did a bit of market research that which usually means somebody had two or three keywords on Google and you know whatever came back was considered market research and then we put it in. That, that justifies what we're doing and that doesn't cut it anymore. So people now actually really have to go and spend time on the pre-campaign planning. They've got to do proper market research. They've got to do proper desktop research. Sometimes they have to go out and even you know speak to people about their impressions. So it's 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 real real hard work to go and justify that. And I think that that is the good thing about that. We have to now deliver on our promises. And so so the two work in hand in hand. You do your plan. You do the measurements. And 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 now it's just so much more important because otherwise you just don't get to do the work that you want to do. It certainly has helped a lot and I think that's the way to go. I think the methodologies around that one are not yet kind of made, made perfect. Um, traditional people in the market research field feel that with mobile surveys you can't you know, put the right samples together, you don't know enough information, you can't categorize it in the same way. Um, and they're probably right from a traditional market research point of view. But the disadvantage of traditional market research in terms of time and in terms of you know the effort and the money that it costs, never mind the fact that you might get something statistically irrelevant, but from a context point of view, completely not. So mobile is, is absolutely the way to go. We might have to go and lose a little bit of accuracy. We might have to go and lose a little bit on the methodology. We might have to go and use a little bit on the thoroughness, but the richness of the data that we are getting plus the speed are, are, are just benefits that, that are so much better. I mean, you can, for the costs of one of those mobile campaigns, you can run 20, 30 campaigns. So even if you make a mistake and you realize that, ah, I should have asked this question, or, you know, we maybe didn't get those people, you just do it again. And it is still going to be 10 times faster than before and still going to go and be significant accurate. And, and it provides clients with the feedback now. They can make decisions now. They can go and put products into place now. They can go and run campaigns now. We can do more and in fact what we need to do is we do more not less and that's what mobile allows us to do.